In Web3, attackers are willing to work hard for a big payoff. A nearly $235 million hack of the Wazir X exchange demonstrates how even implementing wallet security best practices may not be enough. When we normally talk about exchange hacks, it's typically because large amounts of crypto are stored in a hot wallet with a single signing key. If this key is compromised, assets can be drained. However, this wasn't the case with Wazir X. Private key security is essential to protect hot wallets. Best practices include using a multi-sig wallet and storing private keys in hardware wallets. Wazir X did both of these. It used a four of six multi-sig scheme with keys held in Ledger hardware wallets. Additionally, one key holder was liminal. A digital custody provider and recipient addresses were allow listed. The Wazir X hacker defeated the allow list by replacing the multi-sig wallet with a malicious contract. This eliminated the need for transaction approval, but this change needed multi-sig approval as well. The contract swap exploited discrepancies in how transaction data was displayed in Liminal's interface. When the approvers viewed the transaction to sign it, it looked like a benign transaction. However, the transaction that their signature was appended to included the malicious functionality to swap out the contract. As a result, three Wazir X and a Liminal signer approved the transaction, giving the attacker the access that they needed. Wazir X did many things right, but an error in display data on a UI led to a nearly $235 million hack. This underscores the importance of holistically auditing all aspects of a security program, rather than focusing on individual parts. While the use of multi-sig in hardware wallets was definitely in line with best practices, the vulnerability that allowed the attacker to display a fake transaction for signers to approve undermined their protection. Join us next time as we uncover more pivotal moments in the world of cybersecurity and blockchain technology.